Ladies and gentlemen, it is time now for the Glory Heavyweight Contender Tournament Final. First to make his way to the glory ring, he wore his semi-final opponent down in the final round with low kicks and body combinations. Please welcome back, Benjamin Adegbui. So we are set for the heavyweight contender tournament final, Benjamin Adegbui. Came into the tournament ranked at number one. Has already challenged Rico Verhoeven for the Glory Heavyweight Championship at Glory 22 in Lille, France this past June. Started well, but ended up getting outpointed by the champion. And now he'll face Jafar Wilness for an opportunity to get another crack of the title. And I know he wants to put on a show and, and dancing is part of it, Stephen, but here in this high altitude, he might want to conserve his energy. That's a really good point, Moral. But I think he's also warming up that yep. uh, that leg because they've got to be pretty tender. But going into this fight, I would have to say he's the better boxer of the two between he and Jafar Wilmers. But it's not a boxing match as much as some people want to believe it is. Kicks and knees have a big, big impact on the fight that happens inside the ring. He chopped his semifinal opponent down with devastating leg kicks in the second round. Here is Jafar Wilness. Jafar Wilness began tonight's tournament stopping Ben Edwards. Courtesy of low kicks, much like that Bowie did against Brestovac in their rematch. And Wilness at the age of 29, when we last saw him in a glory ring, he was being knocked out by Mladen Brestovic at glory 14. Since then, he has reeled off five consecutive wins this year, winning a tournament in China. And he's the main sparring partner for the glory heavyweight champion, Rico Verhoeven, which we mentioned. And I, I think it's worth mentioning again because you can see the improvements made by working with such a high level fighter. That's absolutely true. We saw Rico Verhoeven lose fights to guys like Sammy Schult early in his career. But what did he do? He improved and he really got better as a result. Jafar Willis, same situation. And here's the tail of the tape for the heavyweight contender tournament final. Both these guys, big men at 6'5 and 6'6. Six, six. The weight is in Agdag Bowie's court, but the, the reach is actually for Jafar Wilness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this tournament final scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he now runs his record to 21 wins with three losses and 15 career knockouts. At six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters, he weighed in at 258 pounds, 116.9 kilos. He's back tonight fighting out of Romania. Here is Mr. Gentleman, Benjamin Adegbui. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner with a record now of 28 wins, five losses, one bout scored even, and eight career knockouts. At six feet, five inches tall, 1.95 meters, he weighed in at 245 and one half pounds, 111.4 kilos. Fighting out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jafar Wilnes. And once again, your referee is Adam Martinez. Adam Martinez will be the third man in the squared circle glory heavyweight championship shot at stake. Mr. Gentleman Benjamin Adegbui and Jafar Wilness set to go one on one. How much is left in their respective tanks? Let's fight. Bell and round one. Wilness in the white gloves, and Igbui in the black. Wilness starting right off with the left jab, which I would have thought Adigbui would have done. Body kick by Adigbui, both of them trying to use the jab. High guard by Adigbui blocking the jab from Wilness. There was a shotgun left kick to the body. And of course, usually it's the ones that don't make that loud noise that hurt more, Stephen. You know, that's funny how that works. It's all, you know, it's good. 
Sounds visceral good experience, yeah. It's good for the, for the crowd. Sure. But then again, a shot like that, I still think you feel it. As they just, oh, nice combination exchange in that left hand of the body by Wilness. It's about the hooks for Wilness right now. Rico Verhoeven scheduled to defend the championship in Amsterdam. And boy, are the Dutch happy to welcome Glory back to the Netherlands at the end of the year. Oh, nice knee up the middle by Attic Bowie, but Wilness absorbed it and said, all right, no big deal. Attic Bowie with a really good left hook to the liver. And a left kick. Oh, oh two man, working that liver, making it quiver as Anik Bowie. But Wilness continues to walk forward, whether, he, unless he has a great poker face, he's taking these shots well. Just past the midway point of the opening round. Another left hook to the liver by Anik Bowie. Good counter upstairs by Wilness. More technique here on display, but it's been a lot of boxing with the occasional kicks doing the damage. Pretty much keep it to the body and the leg with those kicks. Both of them working the body well. Funny thing was, I thought Wallace was going to be the one who would exploit the low kicks. Man. But it's been on Igbui. And they're firing off combinations. Left hook behind the guard, left hook downstairs by Wilness. Low kick inside, checked by Adik Bui. They're just standing toe to toe. Oh. Who will be the first to fall? Knee by Adik Bui finds himself along the ropes. 40 seconds left in a frenetic first round. That rising right knee of Adik Bui is going to be a force. Jafar has to make sure he doesn't duck into that thing. Good right hand by Boot Wilmus. Wilmus landing again with that right hand. And Wilmus all over out of Bowie. Great start to this heavyweight contender tournament final here at Glory 24. Wow, what a pace, Stephen, to that opening round. Can they maintain it here in Denver? That was crazy. I'm really actually kind of shocked. I mean, Willis didn't really fight for that long in his first fight, but I think Bowie did. And he got banged up a little bit, but he didn't look like it. I was broken. That was crazy. Tempo, man. I can't look to Ben staan now. Oh, what are you doing with that? Gelijk rechts en Second down. Let's go. Right there. Stay in your corner. Stay in your corner. Can they continue the pace they established in round one? They touch gloves and immediately start firing. Adam Bowie in the black gloves. Will this in the white? And dare I say, they're off to an even quicker start. Man. What is up? It's like Jafar is going for the knockout here. And he really put it on Attic Bowie in the latter stages of the opening round with those punches. They exchanged the low kicks, but now there's a nice overhand right that lands for Wilmus. I think that Wilmus' corner wasn't too happy about the way things played out in that first round. They really pumped him up there in the corner in between rounds. Well, I think they should be pretty happy with what transpired as we take a look at the total strikes. Big advantage for Wilmus. Yeah. Attic Bowie with the liver kick. Knee to the body by Wilmus. Toe to toe, mano a mano. This is what glory heavyweight action is all about. How important is a shot at the glory heavyweight championship? They're throwing everything at each other, everything. And they're starting to slow down more. Wow, imagine that. <laughs> two big guys like this in Denver. Nice one, two, and followed by the body kick from Attic Bowie. L outside low kick by Attic Bowie. Wilmus really slowing down here. Left hook. So after a amazing start, it's only early human. 
beginning to abate here the pace, but they still throw leather. A minute and a half gone in the round. Two big monsters like this throwing all this energy. Of course, they're going to get tired. Six foot six, Benjamin Adegbui. Six five, Jafar Wilness. It's like a Godzilla movie come to life. <laughs> Working the body is Adegbui. Outside low kick. One minute remaining in the second round. A paintbrush left hook. Another paintbrush left hook by Wilness. You, you mentioned it, Stephen, about all the heavyweights not having a lot of time to get acclimated to the high altitude here. Yeah. Right uppercut, left hook, nice combination from Attic Bowie. So they both began on that same level playing field, as right. it were. That's the thing, because if somebody got here early and rested up, we saw that happen with uh, Fabrizio Verdum against Cain Velasquez in Mexico. Good combination by Attic Bowie, but... Wilness fires back. And they're throwing more strikes than you will see in the Major League Baseball playoffs that are underway. Ten seconds left in the second round. And Wilness and Attic Bowie continue to take each other apart here with the final round straight ahead. Wow. seem too happy about it. Attic Bowie fading ever so slightly here against the ropes. It's Wilness that's putting together the punches. Right uppercut the left hook as I say that by Attic Bowie. It's incredible. It's just the punch output is unbelievable for a heavyweight fight. I mean, period. The fact that it's at high altitude makes it that much more impressive. These guys are going to want to rest for a week after this one. They won't be needing any melatonin to fall asleep tonight. 140 left in the third. Wilness goes to the body. No knockdowns yet. One minute, 30 seconds left in the fight. Wilness has got this under control now. Attic Bowie desperately trying to muster up the energy to throw. But Wilness standing in front of him, blocking those blows, delivering knees. A much different Jafar Wilness in his return to the glory ring. Riding a five-fight win streak, winning a tournament in China. Now hoping to win this tournament and earn a right to challenge his sparring partner, Rico Verhoeven. Less than a minute remaining, added Bowie's second shot at a championship. Seems to be ticking away here with 45 seconds left. It really does, because right now, he's being second, not first. Oh, right hand by Wilness. 30 seconds. 
seconds left. This is all wellness here. Left hook upstairs by wellness. Attic Bowie on the ropes, misses with the right hand. Punches in bunches. Cavalcade of kicks. Heavyweights throwing down in the Mile High City of Denver. The crowd here at Magnus Arena cheering on Attic Bowie and wellness. What a fight! Challenge Rico Verhoeven for the Glory Heavyweight Championship when Glory 24 returns right after we catch our press. What a battle. Wow. I mean, they left it all in the ring. Jeez. Trying to finish each other. And how much has Jafar Wilness improved? He's improved a lot by him going out, I don't want to say the Chitlin Circuit, but outside of glory and getting those wins, beating Hezdi Gerges, I mean, who's a glory fighter as well. I mean, he's really sharpened up every aspect of his game, but he wants it, you can tell. He just went after it. Saluting the crowd here. And there is a contemplative Joe Schilling, I'm sure visualizing the outcome of the main event. Stitch him up, Schilling, returning to glory, was hoping to challenge his bitter rival, Artem Levin, for the middleweight title. Instead, he'll have to face Jason Wilness, who hopes to join that middleweight title scenario with a win here tonight. Simon Marcus, the number one contender. Joe Schilling, number two. Jason Willis, number three. So this next fight coming up is going to show a lot of activity. Dustin Jacoby moving up to number five slot. Huge jump for him. Well deserved. Mm -hmm. A game, Benjamin Attic Bowie, but just couldn't maintain that pace and wellness. According to our scorecards, unofficial, of course, yeah. has, has pulled off one of the biggest wins of his career and has perhaps booked an opportunity to, well, not spar with Rico Verhoeven, but challenge him for the Glory Championship. Yeah, I, I would have to say in this fight, that middle round, the second round, was very close. It would be very hard to pick that round. But I've got Jason Will, I mean, I'm sorry, Jafar Wilness winning this fight. Stephen, <laughs> Twitter is on fire. Everyone raving about the fight we just saw in the heavyweight contender tournament final between Jafar Wilness and Benjamin Attic Bowie. A close fight in many instances, and yet I think the numbers may indeed serve as a precursor to what we'll hear Tim Hughes announce. Agreed. Oh, look at that knee right at the middle. It wasn't like Adik Bu didn't do damage. No. He did. And those knees were big. And the digging punches to the body, it really looked like Adik Bu was doing the better work if you look at these highlights. But when you see the punch stat numbers, it was a different situation. Both men went to war. Who did the most damage? That may be the big, biggest criteria here in the eyes of the judges. Because volume-wise, it was pretty close. Although, I think Wilmers won the volume contest as well. 
A breathtaking performance in every sense of that phrase. And while you hold your breath to see who is the winner, well, let's not wait any longer, shall we? Tim Hughes, tell us who is going to challenge Rico Verhoeven. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three grueling tournament rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Oscar Martinez scores the bout 29-28, Adek Bui. Judge Tom Johnson scores the bout 29-28, Wilness. And Judge Ben Ramirez scores the bout 29-28 for your winner by split decision. And now, glory contender tournament champion, Benjamin Adegbui! And here to present the Ramon Decker's trophy and certificate, our chief Leave executive it up to the officer, judges. John Franklin. It was a tough and fight to score, Steve. It really was, but Mr. Core I don't know. Because that first round, yeah. I would have probably said that Adegbui would have won on damage, right. but he got outstruck numbers-wise. Wow. So you got three judges that are looking at three different things, Prost. I exactly. You know, I, I mean, I we're know. just we're not scoring. You know, where you're asked to score as an yeah. official score, we're trying to call the fight. Yeah, uh, it was an incredible fight. I don't know. I, I wonder. With, I, I wonder how people at uh, on, on social media at hashtag Glory24 think about this result. Taking nothing away from Benjamin Adegbui, as he has done it, razor thin split decision. And he has earned a rematch with Rico Verhoeven. I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch between Eddie Pui oh, and Jafar Wilness. We're definitely going to see that rematch down the road. Definitely.